Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about the new P.E.K.K.A. level at Town Hall 9, showing some actual gameplay of it a little bit before it, be it comes out. Um, as you guys know, the P.E.K.K.A. is getting um, some big changes. Basically, those new levels at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11, they're dropping down the level 4 P.E.K.K.A. to Town Hall 9, bringing down the level 6 P.E.K.K.A. to Town Hall 10, and uh, adding a new level 7 P.E.K.K.A. to Town Hall 11. Now, if you watched my most recent video on the uh, update, the overall uh, thoughts in general I had about the update, um, I basically said that because of the single infernos at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, I don't think the new P.E.K.K.A. levels would have that big of an effect. But at Town Hall 9, there's no single infernos. I think these level 4 P.E.K.K.A.s might be something to look out for. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a, a bunch of different attacks and talk about what the best attack strategy is uh, with these new P.E.K.K.A.s that are coming. Now, keep in mind here that uh, you don't want to use a Go Wipe Mass P.E.K.K.A. attack like this. Um, I wanted to show this one as the first attack because it's something people might think to do is put down some golems, some P.E.K.K.A.s, throw your heroes in, a bunch of wizards, and that's that. Also, don't worry about the Grand Warden that I have as a Town Hall 9 somehow. It's just the mysteries of the developer build that I'm using. I have a, a Grand Warden that's just sitting there. So uh, anyway, the point is the P.E.K.K.A.s are good at cutting through a base, but they're not going to be good in like numbers more than like three or maybe four, you could argue, but uh, they just kind of cut through, but they leave an entire ring of defenses. This base I built pretty quickly, but actually was a pretty good base. It's very good against hogs. Um, I guess you could definitely copy it if you wanted to, because um, it, it actually, I think, is a pretty good base. But that being said, let's talk about some of the ways you do want to use the P.E.K.K.A. That last attack was a way you probably don't uh, just a straight up go wipe with golems, P.E.K.K.A.s, and wizards. But this next one, I think, might be something we'll start seeing more and more, is using a few P.E.K.K.A.s in your kill squad along with a hog attack. And the main thing this does is, <clears throat> you could argue it's not the best troop space investment, but it frees up a spell, because you don't have to rage up the P.E.K.K.A.s like you do bowlers. And I have a CC full of hogs in this one. P.E.K.K.A. is also easier to funnel. If the base is very anti-funnel um, and you're going to have trouble with that, you can go ahead and just uh, change it up to P.E.K.K.A.s and probably have a lot more success getting your troops to actually go into the base. Um, so the CC was annoying in all these attacks because the Witch um, is difficult to poison. But anyway, just throwing in the King, the P.E.K.K.A.s, uh, one Golem, and the Queen with some wizards behind, like I said, allows you to bring three heal spells, which is extremely valuable at Town Hall 9, plus a solid, I think, like 18 hogs and a CC full of hogs. I forget the exact numbers, uh, but the CC is important because those hogs are very strong, uh, being the maxed out level hogs. Also, another thing that this attack has that's strong is the kill squad um, will often kind of hang out in the middle and tank stuff. Or, like it does in this attack, it'll peel off to the side. You can see the king, a P.E.K.K.A., and some wizards going around the outside of the base here. And if the hogs don't quite finish the, the attack, um, because it's a quick, you know, kill squad, hog, pretty quick attack compared to like a queen walk attack, you might have some time left up for the P.E.K.K.A., the wizards, whatever's left from that kill squad to clean up the base. So the P.E.K.K.A. is a very durable troop. It often will last towards the end of the attack. And if you save a wizard or a hog, that's a good thing to do. Um, we'll see that more in a few future attacks in this video coming up soon. But it's so tanky, it's like a golem that you can sprinkle in a hog or a wizard and directly target a defense. And that'll allow you to get some very good value towards the end of the attack and salvage an attack that otherwise wouldn't be uh, looking to three star. So. Let's move on here to uh, the next attack, and this is the strategy I want to promote the most. Don't worry, these aren't going to all be level 30 hero attacks. I know people are thinking, I only have level, you know, 3 heroes. Well, if you have level 3 heroes, you're, you're kind of screwed, but if you have level 10 or above heroes, um, you can still 3-star some maxed out bases, I think, with these new P.E.K.K.A.s. Let's take a look at one with these level 30 heroes, uh, starting with... The, um, just a simple entry from the top right here. I identified that as the best way to use this strategy on the base because the air defenses aren't near that side of the base, 
which is common at Town Hall 9 to have very spread out air defenses so the healers can, or not spread out, but all on one side of the base so the healers can heal up your uh, force as it moves through the base here. Basically what you're doing is you're throwing down like eight giants, um, healers on them, a few P.E.K.K.A.s, CC bowlers, your heroes, a very, very heavy kill squad. You don't even have to bring a jump. You, assuming it's not a weird base, you can just let your giants and your king and your P.E.K.K.A.s just smash through the walls, especially under all those rages. Um, these last two spells could have been uh, swagged, probably, but uh, the point is this attack is very strong at Town Hall 9. I went ahead and used the rage and the heal. Anyway, and um, plenty of troops left up at the end. You can see a P.E.K.K.A. Um, tanking for those hogs. Uh, notice how long that P.E.K.K.A. tanks those Teslas at the top left of the base there. Um, something you want to save those hogs for. It's kind of like the Monty G attack we took a look at. You sprinkle in those hogs on defenses that are being tanked. That's the army comp I like using. But now let's take a look at this. Could it have worked with level 10 heroes? Um, level 10 heroes, we're not seeing them... Uh, be it's a little bit trickier to three star maxed out base with these heroes but on just a attack that I kind of came up with without a whole lot of planning can it three star let's take a look at this um, this is of course me attacking my own base on the developer build if that wasn't already clear that's why the Grand Warden's awkwardly there so anyway the Giants break through the wall no need for wall breakers send in the P.E.K.K.A.s send in the bowlers send in the heroes then just use those rages. The healers step up into the rages afterwards and get the benefit of it. Um, ideally, if this was a more planned out attack, there might be a few baby dragons on the outside to keep everything inside the base. It's not good for your, um, your P.E.K.K.A.s and your bowlers and everything to start wandering around the outside. You are relying on them to swing through the walls and move towards the middle and basically clear out the middle of the base as fast as possible. Now there are some variations you can do, uh, Valks, it's called like HVHB, um, there's, there's a lot of different combinations of this, but the idea is you have giants, you have healers, and I think after this update you're going to want to have P.E.K.K.A.s in there as well, a few hogs, and then either bowlers or Valks maybe. Um, it's really up to you how you do this, but the idea is you're raging your troops, and then those healers step up into the rage afterwards. Now, not every Town Hall 9 base has those air defenses all on one side of it, uh, which makes it a little trickier, but if you can get the air defenses neutralized um, right at the beginning, if there's like an air defense you're going into, you can delay the healers, or you can just allow maybe one healer to get shot down, but typically your troops are moving so fast that as soon as the healer gets in range, and, or as soon as the air defense gets in range, and starts taking out the healer, the, uh, the, the, um, lost my train of thought, as soon as the air defense starts taking out the healers, your troops are already there to finish off the air defense and keep most of the healers alive. Now this attack worked out, you saw those P.E.K.K.A.s at the end, because they're so durable, every other troop was pretty much dead, but the P.E.K.K.A.s were still alive, and they were able to finish off the base, and that's often how it'll work, and that's why I stress that you want to have a few wizards and a few hogs that you can sprinkle in to help those P.E.K.K.A.s at the end of the attack. A lot of this is improv. Um, <clears throat> one more attack from a different angle. Let's see if we can get this one to work. Again, level 10 heroes, um, raging stuff through the wall. you got to be careful without wall breakers. you got to make sure it, uh, it helps that the queen pulled everything into the base, but for funneling, you want to let those giants open up the wall. You can even sprinkle in a few wall breakers to help them because you don't want to have your bowlers or even worse, your king or your pekkas or something uh, walk around the outside and not actually go into the base. Um, so once again, moving through, they got into the middle pretty quickly. The healers will start to get targeted now. Uh, level 10 queen, level 10 king, not doing a whole lot. The main DPS are the bowlers and the P.E.K.K.A.s on this one. Um, if you do have lower level heroes, ideally, you'd be bringing a few less giants and really focusing on the damage troops. Um, a few Valks might be helpful as well. It just depends on the attack. Uh, depends on your comfort level, the troop levels you have. Now these hogs, once again, sprinkling them in. Um, unfortunately, that one hog got targeted. You got to be very careful as to what the Tesla is locked onto. But look at that one P.E.K.K.A. at the bottom of the screen there. Targeted by like five different defenses, but it still takes out a full health expo before it goes down. I'm not sure how much health it had initially, but it, it wasn't at full health when it entered that compartment. Uh, so it just shows how powerful these level four P.E.K.K.A.s are. 
queen moving down, uh, she can do a little bit of work, but that level 10 queen so annoying to use, uh, doesn't do a whole lot. This one was very close, you guys will see how it ends. But to wrap up this video, um, hog attacks, of course the go-to stuff, La Loon, that we're seeing at Town Hall 9 is still going to be very popular. But here's a new attack strategy that can really crush some bases if you use it correctly. And also give you some more room for error if you are a, a low hero Town Hall 9. You can just get those P.E.K.K.A.s upgraded, um, get these other support troops you see on the screen upgraded and start going. It helps to have the bowlers, but you can use a CC of Valks or something as well, CC of Giants. Um, just make sure you have some DPS besides the P.E.K.K.A.s, especially if you have lower level heroes. But that will do it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.